Rehearsal. Action. Throw them in there, and then close the door. Oh no, 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 holy shit. No, 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 no. So how did we end up here? So this is the video shoot for Prison Break, and we rented a maximum security prison, an abandoned maximum security prison for the day. And we were shooting here, and under the impression that all the locks had been taken out, clearly they hadn't, and these locks are made to only work with electricity. And the prison hasn't had electricity for five years at this point. So Sarah Longfield and I are in a bit of a pickle. And you know, there's a lot of times running this YouTube channel where I felt like, wow, if I could only show my 16 year old self what's going on now, you know, like the first time I played a sold out show, or the first time I saw my signature guitar hanging in a store, and now literally getting locked in prison. <laughs> Not sure if you're gonna get out. Let's rewind to the beginning of how we ended up in this situation. <laughs> so this is actually the second day of the craziest weekend we ever had shooting. The first day, we had a whole set built and we needed to destroy the set in fake blood and have fangs for a lot of vampire stuff that's going on in this series. We already have a behind the scenes for that on the second channel, but onto the prison day, I came over to do a shoot for one of the videos and you were working on a song in your sound booth mm -hmm. and you were like, this song would be great, Sarah's vocals, mm -hmm. and we need to shoot in a prison. Yeah, <laughs> just for fun, I was playing guitar one day, I had my H string, and I was very committed to like, I'm just gonna get in the booth, and just like watch some YouTube and write a song, just for fun, I'm not gonna release it, I'm just gonna write for fun today. I ended up coming up with these riffs that I guess sounded prison-y. <laughs> it went through a few iterations, where first it was just, a song about like getting to prison and having the worst cellmate ever, and it was called Selly, and then it changed to Recidivist, which was about being in prison, getting out, and then continuing to go in and out of prison. And then I had the idea where like, I could release this, this could be the third video in the story of Sunday Youth Group. We get arrested yeah. and then break out of prison, then change the lyrics to be about breaking out of prison, which I think ultimately is is the most interesting. I went home after that and I was mm -hmm. like, what do, you, what do I even, how do I even approach this? <laughs> Can you rent a prison? Is that something that you could do? We actually could. So we're in uh, a what used to be a maximum security prison for women in Illinois that closed down in 2013. And it's massive and we rented it out for the day. I just Googled Closed prisons, mm -hmm. Illinois. An hour and a half out of the city, in a town called Dwight, Illinois, mm -hmm. was Dwight Correctional Facility, yeah. shuttered in 2013. Yeah. 60 I, acres, it's huge. Uh, escaping on the roof, got it. Got escaping it. through fence, got, got it. it. Escaping through dog run. Dog run, let's All right. do it. So where are we going now? Now this is the dog run. What, what does that mean? That Prisoners another. got in between the gates, there's razor wire up top and bottom, and they would leave, let the dogs in to take care of it. So when we go through here, just watch your step. There's only razor wire on this side, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> So to be clear, Jake, you thought there was razor wire before and you were gonna have him run in there anyway? Yeah, yep. <laughs> I was just going through the Wikipedia page of mm -hmm. Dwight and it was like now controlled by part of the Illinois State mm -hmm. uh, department thing. So I just mm -hmm. emailed the guy. Yeah. I was like, here's what we wanna do. I didn't even tell you I was doing any of this because I, <laughs> yeah. I didn't want you to think maybe I was gonna be able to make it happen. <laughs> yeah, cause like, I, I kind of felt, even when I called you, it's like, this is a long shot, but yeah, let's see what happens. He was like, let me look into this. He looked into it. He said, here's what we need you to do. Cause we needed to get like insurance for the day mm -hmm. as a production. Yep. And there were certain considerations that again, made it a more expensive shoot. Mm -hmm. I was like, is this worth it to you? You were like, let me think about it. Yeah. Like 20 minutes later, you were like, like it's worth it to do me. it. <laughs> we went out to scout it. Mm -hmm. That was really fun. Cause it was just me, you and Bryce. You know, the place is huge. It's 60 Massive. acres. And we just had, you know, a few hours with Bryce to look at all of it and see where we wanted to film. We needed people to be in the prison. Mm -hmm. One of your biggest concerns was, you know, if we don't get a lot of extras, it's just gonna look empty. It's just gonna look bad. It looks like kind of still a low attended prison. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but we have other people there. There's a shank there. Yep, yep. Uh, this is what uh, prisoners know. refer to yes. as the uh, shank. <laughs> we could have used some different lenses to yeah, make yeah. it feel more in. Like in some of the fisheye footage later, yeah. like there's so much empty space, especially in that second spot we were in. Uh, <laughs> Nice, did you see that I ripped my pants over? 
<laughs> I mean, that wing was huge. Yeah. I mean, that's I mean, another I guess, kind of problem with uh -huh. being in one of those giant real wings is yeah. that they look massive. Just a few people in there is not gonna look yeah. super populated. So we put out the call to uh -huh. everybody. We were like, who can come? Drive an hour and a half. What pizza do you guys like? I like pineapple. I thought you were doomed when you said, uh, so what kind of pizza do people like? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, do you have any sodas or, or, or any cans? Yeah, I would uh, like, uh, what do you got, uh, Coke? Can I get a Diet Coke, Jake? I would like 19 Cokes and one Diet Coke. Uh, yeah, in, in a way. So also, I, back to the uniforms, I think we're forgetting that you and Eliza and, and had to create the uniforms. They were just orange when you got them. Yeah, between a costume shop that sold like orange prison uniforms mm -hmm. and orange scrubs, like medical yeah. scrubs, we were able to kind of cobble together 20 of them. Mm -hmm. We went to like a Michael's craft store, yeah. got some stencils. These ain't no background pants. These are gonna be close to camera. Yeah. So I'm trying to do an extra good job. My wife Eliza and her dad actually um, kind of put the stencils oh, together. I didn't know that. Thanks, and guys. And then we wanted IDOC, Illinois, De Illinois Department of Corrections, mm -hmm. down the leg, across the back, and then numbers on front. Yeah. All of those on 20 outfits mm -hmm. actually took a really long time. Yeah. I kept saying, I was like, they could just be orange. We had to have prison identification on them. Yeah, and and the numbers are fun too. Sarah is 666, I'm 312. Yep. Chicago area code. Yep. Getting a big crowd for a video. Yeah. It's so hard. Re yeah, and really complicates things. And in this case, I remember thinking like, who do I know who'd be interested in just having the opportunity to check out a closed down prison? Nick Daniels, hey. what up dude? Speaking of, we need an inmate for this shot. Sweet. Thanks so much for coming, man. A lot of people came through. Yeah. But I think out of the 20 we had for the prison shoot. Like 10. Like 10 like, showed up. So we had like yeah. half, half show up on the yeah. day. Thankfully we had people who were, you know, kind enough and were into the shoot enough to come in and be inmates. The important thing to remember is this is prison pizza. So we're not allowed to enjoy it. Oh, sure. <laughs> And then we also had two people play uh, prison guards. Yeah. So you found Kevin. Kevin, totally cool dude. Yeah, he Just, did a great job. Yeah, he was amazing. Yeah. He was ama like when he picked up Sarah and threw her. <laughs> Krav Maga video yeah. part one. <laughs> All right. Set. Yeah, take that <laughs> Yeah, that was so surprising. But it looked it looked great. Yeah, we had like, not yeah, planned that ahead of time. Yeah, my Simon, Simon, Simon was the other guard. He's been this is at least the second time we've killed him in a video. <laughs> so we'll see you soon, Simon. <laughs> and then the other people were just friends and friends of friends. Yeah, totally. All in all, we needed a ton, a ton more people than ever yeah. before. Oh yeah, for this for one weekend. weekend. Yeah. Unfortunately for us, like yeah. the day we went to scout, it was so sunny. Yeah, that, that was it. I forgot about the that. The environment was so bright. But then because of the thunderstorm and just and cloudiness, just the clouds, like when we went into the second location, and it was so dark. Yeah, I bought two uh, batteries for these battery-powered lights. Luckily, yeah, two of, yeah. <laughs> and the lights too are are great. But there's only two of them. Like there's no way you could fill that whole room. No. So we were also battling with when the sun is out, and it was back and forth all day. Do you need a second light? Yes. Because we need one for Sarah and one for me. The other thing we had to battle was that it had been raining days previous. Yeah, so, so there was, was water, water everywhere. And what about this is just so wet? It is really wet. There was only one room with bars in it. Yeah. It's actually a shower room. Yeah, it's actually a shower room. <laughs> and it, and it was soaking wet everywhere. What do you think about this room, Rob? It's, it's really slippery. So I'm honestly like... Yeah, I just gotta not move around too much or I'm gonna die. And we ha need lights in the room. Just found some, some parts that were on the ground and then put the light on top of that and just hope it didn't fall into the water. I remember being particularly excited about the wide shots where you could see everyone, yeah. where it's not the performance footage. Yeah. We're pretty cool. Yeah. And then Dave gets beat up. What are you doing in this shot? I'm, I'm beating the fuck out of Dave. Once, then Sarah, you do the hit, we'll call it out. Can I like grab him like, 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 turn, turn, yeah, turn him around and punch him? Yeah, turn him around. Just put it over here. Like, what? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> grab that. Okay, from here. Kill him. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, I told you I had a one that was actually. Oh, yeah, it's here. <laughs> when, you, when you throw it, I say like, 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 like. In the loop. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> so, elbows. So it was all it was all crazy. I mean it's just blurry and crazy. Awesome. Awesome. Are you okay? So yeah, I'm good. Alright. And then that brings the story into the next location. This is a maximum security women's prison we were filming in. Here's what you need to and, understand about yeah. this, okay. you guys. No 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 no. Look, this thing. okay. This was horrifying because what you <laughs> need to understand first, uh -huh. so this is a shuttered prison. What they mm -hmm. had was somebody come through and pull most of the locks out of the doors. Yeah, well not only that, but the, and the parts of the locks that are still there mm -hmm. are meant to be controlled from elsewhere yeah. so that you can open and close the doors without being right next to the inmates. Right, and since there's no power, those yeah. no longer function. Exactly. There's no way to operate these. There's no keys yeah. to these. You can see there are no uh -huh. locks in these doors. Mm -hmm. Rehearsal yeah. action. <laughs> Throw them in there and then close the door. Oh no! No, 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 no. Holy shit. No, 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 no. No. Guys, chill, chill. Be calm. Be calm. No, I know. Bryce, anything, anything you can do. <laughs> so, so now we're in a situation where Sarah and I are locked in a maximum security prison cell. With the doors have no ability to open. Uh huh. That was the common door slam. That was a hell of a door slam. It was really good. You did exactly what I told you to do. That's on me. That's on me. This isn't a prank? No, no. Holy shit! Oh my god. Go in that other cell down there and get me a core. There's no core. What's happening right now? Close the door and it turns out you can't open it. So we are actually locked in the refrigerator. In a prison cell. Yeah, you were freaking out. I was freaking out. You hear it? Yeah. Oh, totally. The footage. This is unbelievable. I mean, I, if it was going to happen to anyone, I'm glad it happened. Sorry, it happened to <laughs> So then at that point, Dave yeah, yeah. and Steve, who are both in Sarah's band, The Fine Constant, yeah. are both prisoners for the day. Um, they start trying to work on the lock, uh -huh. along with John Mistretta, a buddy of mine yeah. who uh, runs a nerd fighter group out of Chicago. If I can get the lock mechanism out, it'll release. It'll override because the power's off. And Sarah and I are in there just like in this surreal experience where we are, li again, literally locked in a maximum security cell. Sorry, Derek doesn't believe I'm actually trapped in here. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, nope. This is real. Well, uh, Sarah and I did a shoot in New York for a TV pilot that Unfortunately is never gonna come out, but I remember we were coming back and flying back from New York after the shooting this TV pilot And she was saying she's like every time I see you we're on some new shoot and things are even weirder than before We mentioned that too when we were filming with Sunday you group with all the blood. She's like this is the weirdest thing Is rolling We were in New York. You're like can't get weirder than this. It's weirder than that. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Like, This is weirder than yesterday. So where are we going right now? We're gonna go to Fireman's Axe <laughs> from, the, from the guard station, right? Yeah. That's right. Let's go so much. That's... I hate to break it to him, it's not gonna... It happens! I mean, it's a prison, it just happens. It's okay. You know, recently in the last year, there's these moments where it's like, wow, you know, if I could, I could think back to when I was 16 starting this YouTube channel, <laughs> if I could just see what's going on now, what a crazy experience that would be. And there was that as well, but now it's like, if I could see us being locked in a maximum security prison. Yes. It's completely in right now. Should I? Yeah, Steve, you're Pop gonna it. grab the door. Well, Rob, get ready to push on the door. Don't hit him in the face. Just, we'll tell you when. Just get ready. All right. Okay, I'm gonna reach it this button. Hit the button. Hold on. Three. Gotta be, you gotta get in a better angle. I just got bumped Yeah, just gently. Okay, you start, start pushing right now. Oh! Thank you. 
How was that for you, Rob? You know what? It's, it's more authentic. I didn't realize how I was going to start not gonna lie, I got a good 15 minutes of not having to do anything. I was so embarrassed. Like, as soon as you guys got out, the first thing I said to both of you was, I'm so sorry I locked you in a prison cell. <laughs> the first thing you said when you got out of there after the big chair was, let's shoot a video! Yeah, it's like, alright, that's enough, let's let's get this done. We had some great energy from everyone after that, too. We did the circle pit, we did the mosh pit. Uh -huh. And then we also did the, right after we got the shot with Simon, mm -hmm. where Sarah attacks Simon yeah. and, is, and is delivering those lines. <laughs> The camera on the dolly on the yeah. ground. Thankfully, the the ground was uh, smooth Even enough, enough we could yeah. do that, and we had her hit the tripod. <laughs> That was a wrap with the prison, right? And then everything else in the woods, that's a wrap on the prison, you guys. Woo! We weren't done shooting for the day. No, then we went back to Chicago, shot in a wooded area that we've shot a bunch of videos Tons. in. The hardest thing about shooting in the woods is shooting in the woods at night. Again, yeah. thank God you got the battery operated lights mm -hmm. because it would have been impossible otherwise. Yeah. Dude, this shit is so ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the idea is we would get the last chorus is just one continuous shot of us coming out of the woods yeah. and in the story showing that we've made it out, we are now like in the suburbs. I walk so much faster than you. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was the craziest shoot yeah, weekend ever. Yeah, by far. And I remember even the next day, I was so tired. Oh my God. That I remember still feeling like really stressed the yeah. whole next day. Because even nonstop. leading up to it was nonstop. We, we were moving from like, 5.30 a.m. to mm -hmm. like 11 p.m. Yeah. That night, Steve and I stayed up playing video games, inside in particular. God, so played, good. Maybe the best video game I've ever played. And then that night, I, had, I woke up at like 3 in the morning from a nightmare that I was being filmed and I wasn't sleeping correctly. No, stop yeah, it. Yeah, I guess I didn't tell you Dude, that. Dude, that's a set dream. That happens to production people <laughs> under stressful circumstances. Yeah, yeah and I, I woke up like covered in sweat. Yeah. And, and my immediate thought was like, was I not sleeping in the right position? Was I not in shot? Was I not in frame? <laughs> and and it took, you know, coming out of a dream, realizing, oh, I'm I'm not on set right now. It was so exciting, but it was definitely the craziest shoot. Yeah, yeah. I've ever done. <laughs> Rob from the future here again. Wanted to say thanks so much to everyone for watching this channel and allowing us to do all these crazy things, especially the people on Patreon who voluntarily pay. And we decided if we were gonna bring Sunday Youth Group back, people have been asking for it for a long time, we were really gonna go for it. <laughs> and we really did. And even when I saw the first edit of Bloodline in particular, I was like, oh geez. <laughs> we might be taking this a bit too far. But uh, yeah, I'm really proud of it. Here are the three videos that we made that weekend. And here's the behind the scenes of that as well for the day previous to this. It was a really crazy weekend. And yeah, thanks so much for allowing us to do this. And I hope you enjoy and I'll see you next week.